Hi, it's me again with Crow Draw Tips Tricks. Somebody sent me this bitmap and they want to get rid of the whiskers. And for the one I'm doing, and I've already done it just to play with it. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to do a little better job on that right there. And the thing is less than five inches. So I'm going to set a nudge vector on five. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to trace bitmap. Outline, trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. And it's already done it, but see the white in the teeth. I'm going to go and remove background from the entire image. And then I'm going to move it over. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Matter of fact, I'm going to make it larger so we can see it better. I don't ever get rid of this till the last in case I want to, I mess up and want to do it again or look at the final result. So because this is a symmetrical tiger, I'm going to left click, right click. It's in the center of the page. I'm going to draw a two point line, start moving, hold down the control button and then hit P. So I'm going to delete half of this tiger because when I remove, just make sure you get everything on that side of the line or it'll mess you up. And it only really works if it's symmetrical. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this one whisker that goes past. And I'm going to use the, okay, now the shape tool won't work unless you go up to object and group and ungroup it. So if you ever can't see the nodes, it's because that happened. Now there's a couple of ways to do that. And... One of them is the shape tool. Because see, this is a continuous line. So I'm going to just use the shape tool. And I'm going to take this one right here. It doesn't matter if you go past the line. And then just delete that. And see, it got rid of that whisker. If you don't do that, it doesn't have a stopping point, And it will delete too much. The other way to do it is to take the two-point line. And just go from there to there. And then when you get your virtual segment delete key, you can delete that. If you don't do that, look what happens. It deletes, it continues that, that line continues. I think the shape tool is probably the quickest. Cause we're getting rid of that, that we're getting rid of that line anyway. I don't think I'm there. Yeah, I am. I think there's one, see that line crossed. Now this one's a little bit different because it has two openings. So let's get this right here. Let's use the lines this time. And we'll go right here and then get the, and then delete this line in that. Now we're gonna use the smart fill tool anyway. Let me look at this eyeball, it looks funny. Yeah, there's an extra, there's an extra line there. And see, this is what nice, or what I like it about just working with half of it. So I'm going to control G to group it, control D to duplicate. I'm still holding, okay, I didn't get everything because my bounty box. And there's something over here. See how big the bounty box was? Let's look at under wireframe. Nope, nothing there. There's something out here. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here, go up to object. Can't break the curve apart, so it's not a curve. Um, I don't understand that. Now, it, it will not control D. It will not mirror now because that other part's there. So something, I don't really know what it could be. See, it's up, you know what? There was like something right there. See it? Two, two nodes. So a lot of times select that with the shape tool. 
Now when we grab it with the bounding box, I'm gonna let that happen. Hold down the control button and mirror it. There's our tiger. Now we could have a leak in it because our joints. So I'm gonna take a rectangle and I'm gonna first start from the outside and we have a leak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this together. I'm not grabbing the red box. I'm gonna weld this together. That sometimes takes care of it, but it might not, and it didn't. So what I wanna do now is while I got it selected, I can go to object and break the curve apart, and I'm gonna grab that. Well, I'm gonna grab that outside, nudging it twice. Tell you what, I'm gonna nudge it three times, and I'm gonna select it, grab my shape tool, and see these nodes right here? They're just not connected, and they could be leaking. So I'm gonna grab those two nodes, go up to windows, dockers, and join curves. I'm gonna say 0.1. See, it closed it. Well, that one looks like it could still be open. No, I think it's closed. Let's get our rectangle. Take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Voila. Now what we need to do is, I really like being able to take the lines away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nudge this out of the way for a second. I'm gonna group this together. Control G. Because that way it, it's creating a new object. Now I'm putting it back so I can see what I need to fill in with the smart fill tool. And hopefully we don't have any more leaks. Working good. Just, I would start from the top or the bottom and just go downwardly. There's something on that eyeball. Well, it looks pretty cool. He's gonna cut it out of two different species of wood and put them in the hole. I hope he says me a picture afterwards. It's funny that you would almost think he would fill that in. Well, you know what? I wonder if I should. If I should have filled, filled this in, yes. I don't know what that little triangle is. That looks pretty cool. So by doing what I just did, I'm going to nudge this out of the way, but then I'm going to take my lines that are grouped together. I'm going to move them out of the way. That way I will for surely only have one set of line. When it cuts it out, so I'm going to go left click, right click and red to signify and it's already a hairline because I draw a hairline. That's pretty cool. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.